All right, what's up everyone? Uh, got up early this morning, started moving. Transition, this is, uh, I'm in Montana. This is the first time I've ever fished Montana. So found a uh, cool stream. Um, a couple guys on Instagram have been uh, saying that, you know, I should come here and fish this little, this area. So decided to go ahead and make that happen. It was a good transitioning to some of the other spots I want to fish while I'm here. But uh, good to know they posted no fires. I found this little camping spot here. Um, pulled off this little access so I'm gonna hike in right here and just fish my way up uh, my eight and a half foot four weight looks good for this water right now it's hot dude come on ah chill Did you just break my rod? You little sh Yeah, it looks like I broke my rod. He swam through the hole in my net and foul hooked himself. But it might be a good thing because it looks like it's like a storm. Alright, good morning. Uh, finally made it to Montana. First time here. Uh, drove in late last night. Um, got here about, I say late last night. I left early. Didn't get here until about 3. Uh, and then thunderstorms and stuff are rolling through. So I didn't get a lot of fishing in. What I did manage to do was break my 8.5 foot 4 weight. Uh, hooked a fish, caught him, put him in the net. I was fishing a double nymph rig. Uh, as I was going to release him, my second nymph hooked his tail and he went through a hole in my net, drove my fly line through it. I got the net, the rod, the fish, I'm trying to deal with it. And um, I guess the fly line had wrapped around the end of my fly rod and just snapped it. So my four weight, um, that was four pieces, is now a five piece four weight, which is not gonna do me a lot of good right now. So not a big deal though. This stream I'm fishing today, pretty cool. It's pretty good for a uh, seven and a half foot three weight, which is what I'm fishing. Gonna start off with a double nymph rig uh, under an indicator. Got a little Dorsey camo. Uh, fishing 5X to my top fly, 5X to my second fly. Top fly is a Pertigan right now. Um, fishing unweighted flies for my second fly. Been switching up between Caddis, Betis, uh, small flies for my second fly. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, leader, it's a seven and a half foot 3X leader. I just put it on because I was doing a uh, Dorsey and I can slide it up and down real easily. Um, and then after that, I got a little bit of 4X and a little bit of 5X. So the entire system is probably eight and a half to nine foot um, from fly line to bottom fly. Give you an idea. So anyway, do this for a little bit today as it warms up. When I got here, uh, it was about 10 o'clock and it was 38 degrees. Um, so probably not gonna throw dries uh, early in the morning for the rest of this trip. Probably do a little nymphing. And then as the day warms up, hopefully get into some dry flies, maybe some hoppers. I don't really know. Uh, we'll just have to kind of play by ear and see how things are going. Different state, different water, different area, but uh, super good looking water though. So be kind of cool to fish. So let's uh, let's get to the fishing. I'd wrap me up in that tree, didn't you? Ew. 
All right, guys. Pretty Montana cutthroat. Come on. All right. That is one way to break a rod. I've demonstrated earlier another way. But sometimes you gotta put the fly where the fish are. These little red-headed ducks have been chasing me down the river. Like, they won't leave. One of them earlier flew into the hole I was fishing. Like, when I first got here, hiked up. I don't know if they're looking for like an easy meal or what, but. Get out of here. They're driving me insane. I mean, I hiked in, did like the normal, like, you know, did too far, cause this is, you know, you gotta stay within high water mark and it's not, not super remote or anything, it's just good fishing. But wanted to get whipping access, so I hiked up. Turn around, man, things are flying into me and stalking me and getting right up in my grill. I'm like, dude, go away. It's crazy. I bet I turn around, I bet they're coming back. We'll give an eye, keep an eye on them. I'm mad birds. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm not crazy. Look at this. I didn't even get off this gravel bar. And they're back up here. I don't know what's up with that. Those things are crazy. Leave me alone. All right, been a super fun day. Nymphing has really been the way to go so far. Picking up some fish in some holes that, unless they were gonna jump up and take a dry, not really much I could do. Found a couple good fish and some woody structure. So, gonna keep doing it. I'm not sure what time it is. I'll check real quick. It got warm, I know that. I take all my layers off. Yeah, it's 10 after 12. I think the high today is like mid 70s. Man, what a beautiful area. I see why people want, love to come to Montana. I mean, you got the river, the flow. This is pretty outstanding. I don't know about those crazy birds though. Let's go find some more fish.
like right under the tree. And no more room. I thought I had another eat up there earlier. Yeah, there it goes. I missed one sooner in that run. I wasn't sure he'd come back. Definitely a better fish. I'm glad you came back, buddy. Alright, looks like I found some loner bear spray. So I'll take that back with me. I'm not gonna use it, but if you're ever fishing with me and you forgot yours, here you go. All right, that's pretty much all I got for today. I'm gonna wrap up the video right here. Uh, just a fun stream, what a day. Lots of fish, some good fish. Uh, seven and a half foot three weight, dry dropper rig at the end of the day. Basically any beat head fly was catching fish. Um, caddis, vertigans, uh, a tractor, like guide choice hair's ear, anything flashy, everything worked. I basically just, reached in the box and picked up what was next um got to hike out of here get to my truck find a campsite um and then uh we're gonna do it all again tomorrow if you haven't already check the uh description for a link to a road trip playlist that has all the videos from this trip started out in wyoming then i was in idaho now i'm in montana what a fun day first time fishing in montana man um going on eight weeks now so lots of videos down there uh what else pretty much covers everything right uh I talked about my rig 5x to all my flies about eight and a half foot a liter uh yeah i'm done thanks for watching guys